The most well-known transition in audiovisual is a fade transition. Why is that? Well, I believe it's because the fade transition comes with built-in charm. It opens up techniques like differential focus, the third image, mono to colour and others. It's a very good transition at almost any length and of course we can match that length to the tempo of our music. Now what you've been viewing here while I've been speaking contains not one traditional fade at all. What it does include is careful transition choice and the smoothing line. Let's take a look. The smoothing line is a user variable softness we can apply to transitions such as hour hand, shapes, gates and page. We can see more clearly what that line is as we view the hour hand with the smoothing of the line removed. The default smoothing line setting is 35% and you can see the impact of that smoothing line in our thumbnail. Now I've come back to the main screen of PTE AV Studio and I've started a new project with these few images. Let's take a look at the shapes option in conjunction with the smoothing line. A monochrome to color transition is what I'm looking for here. But with my shape appearing right where I want it and the smoothing line set to my liking. So with the colored version selected here, I'm going to select my slide options and there we can see the transition window open. Let's select shapes and we'll pick it up from here. Just above my cursor we have three shapes to choose from and above those we can direct the shape to move towards the center or away from it. Now I want my center of the circle to appear right over the sunflower and to do that I first slide the smoothing line to the left so I can see the edge much better. Now using the center of the effect options I can place that circle perfectly. You may need a little trial and error here but I found 65 in the left panel and 48 in the right places it perfectly. But I also want to have my color coming from the center not to the center. All we need to do now is to set the thickness of the smoothing line. So we can put it back to somewhere where it started in the default setting and we get a view in the thumbnail or we could crank it up quite high and we get a different effect entirely. We can put in a transition effect duration too but my personal choice is to do that when I'm putting my slideshow together and I can listen and see the WAV file for the music or the soundtrack at the same time. Now as you can see I put four seconds just for a quick demonstration. We'll select the black and white version, press play and just view what we've created in the mini player. It works pretty well, doesn't it? Now, as you can see by the change in the slide list, I've added two more images. Let's select the second of these two seascape landscapes, go down to the slide options, and maybe we'll take a look at gates. Because with the gates, we get much the same options we had before, certainly with the thickness of the smooth inline and the transition duration, but we get quite a number of different options to change direction. Now you can see what you're getting at the moment. There it is. I'm going to suggest that perhaps coming from the top and bottom towards the center may be a little better, given that the boat is quite strong in tone. And what I'll do is I'll slow this down quite a lot so we get a good chance to see this when I click OK, select this image 
and press play. Now we haven't changed the thickness of the smoothing line at all, but it works quite well, doesn't it? All four of these transitions work exactly the same, but consider matching the transition with your animation. So perhaps a pan to the right with a page transition to the right may be something to try. Thanks for watching.